So for foundation, there's lots of different options. If I'm in a real hurry, I'll just throw on some powder real quick. That's kind of the easiest thing to do. Um, if I have a little more time, I like to go for a cream or a liquid foundation. I really like the Envy Echo Cream Foundation, um, but that's more of like a full coverage product. Sometimes I'll still use it even on days that I do minimal makeup. Um, and then I also really like the Jane Iredale Liquid Minerals. This is more of like a medium coverage product. So uh, that is actually what I'm going to use today. And I'm going to do about two pumps of this. And I'm just going to rub this in to my skin just with my fingers. Should have done that first. So for concealer, something really quick and easy is to take this pencil from Beauty Without Cruelty and just throw that on right under my eyes. Like that, um, I can use this, oh sorry, my, was my mirror completely blocking? Um, I can use this on blemishes as well, even though kind of too peachy so it's probably not the ideal concealer um, for my skin tone to be using on blemishes but in a pinch it will definitely do and I'm just gonna blend it out real quick and then I don't necessarily always would set with a powder again depending how much coverage I was going for how much time I had to do my makeup but just to show you um, what I would do if I were taking that extra step and putting a powder on um, I would there's a lot of different uh, powders <laughs> to choose from but the one I brought here today is uh, a foundation in porcelain from the conservatory. It is a pressed mineral foundation. I like to use this brush with it because it seems to pick, pick up product better. And I would just put that all over just um, to set, but also for some additional coverage. That step's done. One product I forgot to mention when I was talking about um, liquid foundations is the CC Cream from Physicians Formula. So that one's nice. It's quite sheer. It's like a light coverage product, but there's definitely days that I opt for that um, as well. And I know that I'll reach for it more in the summer because it's just a touch too dark for me right at the moment. So then I would put on blush. I almost always um, put on blush just because I feel like it I really need that color that it gives to my face. My go-to blush is um, Crystalline Pressed Mineral um, Blush from the Conservatory. It's just a light um, matte pink. So it's just very um, easy, very wearable. So I'm going to go ahead and put some of that on now. I know that looks super bright, but what happens is my skin, like from the friction of the brush, it gets flushed underneath. So I have to keep that in mind and I know like how bright I need it to look so that when my skin calms back down and isn't pink underneath, like it'll be just the right amount of pink. It's kind of tricky. I do like to go back in with uh, my powder brush just kind of like over the edges of where the blush is to make sure it's, you know nice and blended at the edges and all that stuff but that is roughly what that looks like so next step would be the eyes and there's a lot of different things that I do that I can show you so one thing I could do is just put on some you know regular eyeshadows I probably even if I was in a hurry 
almost always will put a primer underneath either my Too Faced Shadow Insurance or the um, Bare Minerals Primer. Those are really the only ones that seem to work for me. So I put that on and then I probably put like one color of eyeshadow just all over, probably a light pale um, yellow. That's something that is like my go-to color or maybe a pale pink and that would be it for my look. Another option that saves even more time because it's just a one step process is to use a cream eyeshadow. So I have two from Silk Naturals that I really like for this purpose. One is called um, Tribeca and one is called Bluff and they're both just very um, natural skin tone shades. Tribeca is more of like a pale gold which I love for all over the lids and Bluff Bluff is more of just like a skin tone, so this is Tribeca, this is Bluff. So I could just throw some of that on and go, and those don't crease on me unless there's water involved, like if I'm sweating or it's really, really humid or raining, because water dissolves these right off, but oil doesn't, and I have oily lids, so these actually last quite well on me. Um, another option is like this Clinique Lid Smoothie. What is, what color is this? Bit. Oh Honey, number one. So just another light skin tone shade. This lasts really well on me. So if water was involved and I couldn't wear the Silk Naturals and I just wanted a light um, skin tone shade, there it is there. I would just put that all over. And another option is this Jordana um, 12 hour eyeshadow pencil in Continuous Almond. This is like a skin color let me show you it here. I'm going to blend it just a little bit. So that is what that looks like. I could just put that all over. I, I don't tend to like this one as much just because it's matte. And I like using it as a base for other eyeshadows. But on its own, it I don't know, it's like too matte. And I like my eyelids to have a little bit of a shine to them. It just looks, I don't know, it looks fresher on me or something. And the last thing, so this is all, you know, very natural um, colors as well. But if I wanted some actual color, um, I really, really like this color tattoo in the color Seashore Frosts. It is just so pretty. It's like, I don't even know, it's pur not purple. Yes, blue purple with gold if you can imagine what that <laughs> description would look like I don't know it's just super pretty and I like it and that's actually what I'm gonna do today because I haven't worn this in forever and so I kind of miss it so I would just put that all over and this last it has some pink to it too I think it lasts um really good on me I just messed up and got it over here, which I did not mean to do. As long as I just do like a nice thin layer, I will get a full day's wear out of this. Hopefully that's even. <laughs> I'm used to doing this in my bathroom with a bigger mirror. So when I do this, um, I do typically like to add a lighter color in the inner corner. Um, I don't usually wear this completely on its own. So this is um, kind of a two-step process when I, I have to have a tiny bit more time um, to use this product. But I'm just going to use, this is just an eyeshadow I made myself. It's just like a very pale um, beige color. And I'm just going to put that in my inner corner. All right, so I just like that little extra bit of added brightness to make myself look a little bit more awake. And then for eyeliner, so I could just throw on some mascara and go. Um, easily skip eyeliner and definitely days that I do skip eyeliner today just to show you, you know, what I would do if I did have time to put on eyeliner. I'm going to show you. I would not do a winged eyeliner. What was the last time that you saw me without a winged eyeliner? <laughs> gonna be today <laughs> but um, you know how much I love that physician's formula liquid um, liner pen thing I, I use that all the time especially you know when I'm filming these videos because that's kind of my favorite look as a winged liner with that product but 
it is time consuming so um, if I had time for a liner I would just use a pencil this one I just any pencil really not necessarily this particular one I just kind of picked one but um, fearless teal from prestige total intensity long-lasting intense color I just like this one because it's it's very dark and it almost looks like a black but it actually is a really dark teal and I think that's cool and what I would do is line my eye just the outer like half I would make it I would start out thicker and then I would just kind of really gently proceed to you know bring the line that way and just kind of have it fade away as it approaches the um, middle of my eye and this product just glides right on it is super soft it's not natural but it lasts well natural eyeliners tend to kind of smudge all over the place on me but I think it's paraben free I'm only like 80% sure of that so all that's left to do now is to add some mascara. So if I was running short on time and I just did like a one swipe of some kind of light skin tone um, shade all over my lids and I didn't have time to do eyeliner and, you know, mascara, I could potentially skip mascara altogether depending on how much in a hurry I was. Um, but if I have the time, I do really like <laughs> to wear mascara just because my lashes are kind of light and you know not very visible without mascara so I'm just gonna put on one quick coat alright so fix my hair and um, lip color I would just wear whatever I feel like wearing that day probably nothing too bold or bright since you know kind of natural makeup CD is a good one that one's nice and sheer it's like a sheer plummy color um, this is from Silk Natural so I'm gonna go ahead and put that on so just a nice sheer color to add some color to my lips <laughs> add some life back to them and that is it this is my look my finished look it's very basic, quick, easy. There's a lot of steps I'm skipping that I would normally do on days that I, especially days that I'm recording my YouTube videos, I usually take advantage of those days and do full makeup. Um, so I'm not doing contouring, I'm not doing highlighting, um, I'm not wearing a heavy coverage foundation. I did not curl my eyelashes, did not do winged eyeliner, you know, did not do my typical, you know, um, eyeshadow color in the crease, like, you know, multiple color look, just a very basic um, look there. No false lashes, no nothing with my eyebrows. So you can see there's a lot of steps <laughs> that I cut out for this quick look. So this is what I would do when I either, you know, didn't have time to put on more makeup or just didn't want to for, you know, whatever reason. So just wanted to show this to you. This was requested. So hopefully it kind of gives you a better idea of, you know, my less makeup days, what those look like. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.